flask with water and the water is boiling. The flask is being removed from the hot plate. Filled with water is placed over the opening of the flask and watch what happens. Based on what was just observed, our question is, why did the balloon go in the flask? Heat energy from the hot plate was being added to the liquid water, causing the molecules to move more rapidly. They had enough energy that they were moving much faster and spacing further apart, turning to gas phase. And the molecules of gas are spaced much further apart than the molecules when they're at liquid phase, therefore taking up a bigger volume. But when the flask was moved from the heat energy source, the water molecules lost energy. They started to slow down, get closer together, take up less space. So it's a lower pressure inside the flask than outside. So the atmospheric pressure pushed the water balloon into the flask. Now a bonus question, what can happen if the balloon is too big? Well let's take a look. As you can see, there was a bigger balloon, and when it was being forced through that opening, the material of the balloon stretched too much, couldn't take the stress, and therefore ruptured in a weak spot. One last question, how do you get the balloon out besides pulling it out with your hand? What I'm going to try to do is turn the flask upside down so that the balloon is covering the opening and then blow as much air as I can into the flask. And what's happening is I'm building up the pressure inside the flask so that it's greater than outside the flask and therefore the pressure of the air will push the balloon out of the flask.